me how to balance life, taking care of family, taking care of in-laws, taking care of kids, <laughs> spend your time and enjoy your life like a child. And really thank to University India and yes, of course, without a leader, without a mentor, nobody can be a leader and come and speak over the earth because so many issues will be keep coming as so many have said we have taken a break we have taken a break yes of course still without that many with your healthy lifestyle then we can thought of money and inspector general of we are very privileged and honored to have you with us. Uh, let me tell you just a little background. Karnataka has always been on the top 10 states in India, and I'm sure Rajat sir will elaborate more on that in his presentation. Uh, but there's a very interesting fact. Uh, when we take the sales of each you know, Indian state and divide by the number of direct sellers in each state, yes, Maharashtra is right now the top direct selling market, but you know which state is generating the most per direct selling sales in India? It's Karnataka. <laughs> share with you some bits about the industry now you are so for a product to reach consumer for manufacture it has to pass through you know various intakes nutraceuticals so in these 30 years these product categories started coming up by 1970s again uh, diversification of portfolio happened new kind of products new kind of compensation plans started coming 96 is the year when <laughs> for all the stakeholders of the industry using which we can make strategy for the betterment of the industry a big round of applause for all the stakeholders of the industry using which we can make strategy for the betterment of the industry a big round of applause this is the entire information where you can build up your career much more in the heights. This is the entire information where you can build up your career much more in the heights. For all the stakeholders of the industry, using which we can make strategy for the betterment of the industry. A big round of applause. This is the entire information where you can build up your career much more in the heights. Um, as a part of the uh, of the economy, the industry has done reasonable. <laughs> Karnataka is the number five state in the country and the number one state in the south with the turnover close to about 1200 crores and more critically there are 70 lakh people, 70 lakh plus people who are earning livelihoods from this industry in Karnataka. 
so uh, as you as rajat said so we have unveiled the survey and uh, karnataka rank uh, number 5th in the direct selling uh, industry and uh, as we see it's you know this is the only industry which is having the double digit growth cagr if you see is 13.67 so this this the purpose of this uh, this uh, meeting today was one to unveil uh, the survey and secondly the interaction of the direct sellers with the authority you know directly how the government is working or progressing on the rule what we learned from the government that the, they are in the draft stage the rule has been uh, government is working on the monitoring committee and soon uh, with our uh, inputs they are going to release uh, the rule which will be not only beneficial for the consumer but also for the direct selling entity in the state sir women's ke liye kis tarah paida hota hai sir isme kya paida hai sorry sir it's women centric we can say this industry is women centric and they can you know uh, work uh, while taking care of their houses they don't have to go out simply what they have to do they have to use the product and they have to recommend the product so you must have seen though the numbers have slightly come down but still uh, holding very strong when it comes to women i think uh, i'll say keep smiling and keep selling uh, and uh, yeah we'll work uh, towards the uh, future growth of direct selling so the indian direct uh, selling association so this how many years from how many years this program has been there? so association was uh, two decades back it, this association was founded and the purpose of uh, indian direct selling association is to bridge a gap between the regulatory and the industry stakeholders so this uh, kind of interaction we have started from almost 6 years with the government and i'm proudly to say that uh, we have been successful bringing uh, rules direct selling rules in the country and now we are working on the monitoring committee thank you thank you